Everybody, it's Bees checking in. First trip report. Starting day one. Our mine and Jim's fourth year on Appalachian Trail. We uh, are picking up in Irwin, Tennessee. Lord willing, we'll make it to at least Damascus, maybe further. Hope to uh, finish that in a 10 trail days at the end of uh, our section hike. What about it, Diesel? Hello, hello. What do you got to say? I'm we got glad to... it's not raining, and I'm glad the trail's flat. How long do you figure it's going to be flat? Uh, about another five minutes. <laughs> what do you say, Hammond 4 members? He's checking in late in the first day. We roughly did about 11 so far. Maybe 10. I got about an hour worth of hiking left. It's been a good day. You know, we had uh, some sleet early on. That's different. Uh, some decent uphill. It wasn't nothing over that. It's absolutely miserable, but we've changed about 4,000 4, foot of elevation so far. Hey, it's been good. Uh, it's bees. I'm checking in on the AT. First night, we're at low gap or deep gap. So, yeah, just camp. came into camp. I got the hammock set up. I'm going to try to give you a little look around it here. We didn't anticipate a lot of campers here, and man, there is uh, four, five, six tents on the other side. Um, I came off the top of the ridge and went down to the bottom of the, just off the edge of the ridge, try to get out of the wind because the wind is whipping really hard up there, and and, uh, and just one of these many advantages of, of having a, a hammock camp instead of tent camp. And, these guys are sitting up there on top of a flat spot on a ridge and the wind is whipping hard and they're all in their tent. I'm just sitting down here on the bottom side of that little ridge and out of the wind, the tarp's hardly blowing. And uh, I'm on an incline, but I camped to where I got the hill behind me. And uh, so I'm good. But, man, I'm really happy where I'm at. It's good morning, Hammock Farm members. It's day two. Bees checking in. Had a good night last night. It got down below 30. Jim's thermometer in his tent said 32. So I'm saying it's below 30 outside. And I stayed warm last night with my three season Yeti and my Rayway quilt that my wife made me. Hanging in a war bonnet. It was a good night. Slept most of the night. And, uh, slept real well. Very happy. The wind really got to kicking, and I felt so bad for those guys up on top of that ridge because I know it was whipping them tents like Mount Everest tents. So, we're going to a Clyde Smith shelter to have a break. We got about a 14 and a half mile a day. Tell me about it. 14.1 <coughs> miles today. Beautiful weather. No rain, no sleet, perfect temperature, a lot of ups, a lot of downs. We've been to this campsite probably since about 4.30. Nice, peaceful, relaxing evening. In a full belly, if poor Beasley can't finish his dinner. There you have it. I've had two peanut butter and tortillas. Now I'm trying to heat up three cups of couscous. I can't get it all down. Show them how much left. One and a half cup of couscous makes three full cups cooked with chicken. Good morning. Bees checking in on day three. Just left Clyde Smith shelter area where there was probably 24 to 26 people everywhere. The shelter was smack full with 10 to 12 people and I'm guessing there's at least another 10 tents, maybe more. Myself, one other hammock guy named Richard D. He's a member of Hammock Forms. Started off the day with a pretty good hike right up out of the shelter over... Little it? Rock Knob. 
little rock knob. Went over a little rock knob, got a little, little overlook here. Nice view of some little town. Or at least a few residents. <clears throat> We're on the way down off that, getting prepped for the climb up our own mountain, which neither Jim and myself are really looking forward to. But Lord willing, the rain stops or holds off, we'll be satisfied. They're saying 50 50 shot at rain. And it's a little bit overcast, the sun's kind of fighting its way through right now. Jim, you got anything to say? Good morning, that's it. That's it? That's it. It's not very interesting, is he? This is that first little ball on the other side of Roan Mountain. What's the name of it? I don't remember. A little bald knob or something? 5,800 feet. Finally, the clear clouds moved away and the sleet quit falling and the temperature yeah. rose. Well, here we are. I'll let y'all take a look at the North Carolina side and then we'll go over and look at the better side in Tennessee. Out here just a little ways, let y'all look at the Tennessee side of Rimbald. How y'all doing? Good, how are you? Behind me is the Tennessee side, the better side. <laughs> Man, I don't even know where to begin. It's at the end of day three, left Clyde Mountain Shelter, um, got in about an hour before the rain started, and uh, Rain, sleet, and snow hit us 30, right at 30, 32 degree temperatures all the way over Roan Mountain. So we ended up hiking from Clyde Mountain Shelter to Carver's Gap without a break. We ended up doing about eight miles with no break, um, trying to beat the, the weather. Because if you stopped, you just got chilled. <laughs> we ended up over at Carver's Gap, and the sun came out, and we had some lunch, and got 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 back going, had uh, two, little, two little bitty bumps in the, in the highway there, trying to get over the couple little hills, but nothing too bad, and um, ended up here at the Overmountain Shelter. I'm going to try to get up in the morning and get some video of the Overmountain Shelter before I leave. Um, quite frankly, I'm just, I'm exhausted. We didn't get with 14 in today, but it's, it was a rough 14, I guarantee you. Sure. That Overmountain Shelter was packed with through hikers. They done taken the lid off a bottle, had a guitar going, and uh, it's now 7.30 and they're still rocking. I don't anticipate them to quit their partying, so I, rather than stay up here closer to the shelter and, and where some trees are, I'm down by the water source, at least 200 yards away from the shelter. Uh, down here by myself, Jim's up here in a flat spot right by the shelter. So he'll be hearing that junk all night and I won't. Well, yeah, I will. I can hear it from here. But that's where I'm at today. Um, tomorrow we got a little bit of a, a slated for about 17 miles, but the topography ain't bad. And we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure that uh, 17 miles is what I'm going to be able to get in. My that's all I got did. for tonight. That's B signing off on day three. <sighs> that wasn't fake. Good morning, Hammock Forum members. It's B's checking in on day four. Just left over Mountain Shelter, climbing out of there. Looks like we got just a little bit more climb to go. And it looks like a huge downhill, about 3,000 feet of downhill today. We slated about 16 miles walking, and uh, with a couple of breaks of some shelters. Man, it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. Thank you, God. It does not appear that it will have any rain, or snow, or sleet. The things, you know, that make you tougher. We're going to Hump Mountain. Just want to let you look at some of this uh, scenery. And these balls up here. Where's the cabin we stayed because we can 
see the ball from the uh, shelter. Uh -huh. This is the largest ball we've been on, I think. Other than Max Patch. Well, I didn't see any of it. Well, yeah. <laughs> this is the largest ball we've seen. How about that? <laughs>